is great to have you back here at coin lady channel dear everyone you might be thinking this is similar to what's happening with crypto right now while you read this just as the past doesn't necessarily repeat itself rhymes do i mean really i'm at a loss for a better analogy than the internet boom when it comes to crypto then you have forbes pieces like this one which discuss how cryptos as billion dollar zombies are on the rise what are the real uses of the more than 50 blockchains with a market worth of over $1 billion, considering that they only have a handful of user apps and network fees. It is fascinating how these articles are written like way, maybe he would know if he actually researched a bit. All of these writers from Forbes. Subjective views makes a valid point, and I'm bringing this up, because XRP was referenced quite a bit in the correct place. Call me crazy, he said but Forbes is publishing an attack piece about XRP. I am highly optimistic as a result of this. Media conglomerates like this exist only to mislead the numb people. By the way, I totally agree with that, and we say woe to those vile, weak liars. In 2012, blockchain pioneers Jed McCaleb, Arthur Brito, and David Schwartz established Ripple Labs and introduced XRP, a new cryptocurrency. This is where we are now, with the introduction. Faster, cheaper, worldwide money transfers were their ambition for a new global financial standard. Executives at the business generated 100 billion XRP tokens and sold $1.4 billion worth to the public in early 2018. During its first decade, dozens of financial institutions, including Bank of America and Banco Santander, eagerly signed up to test Ripple's innovative network in order to fund their ambitious initiative. While the initial wave of crypto mania was at its peak, Chris Larson, co-founder and executive chairman, had a net worth of $8 billion while XRP was trading at a market value of $132 billion. Little is happening at Ripple Labs right now in terms of international monetary flows and nobody thinks they will ever be able to derail Quick, a Belgian banking cooperative that processes $5 trillion in daily interbank payments. Although Ripple's main goal has been unsuccessful, the XRP token and the Ripple's blockchain, which records all XRP transactions, are still worth $36 billion, putting Ripple's in sixth place among all cryptocurrencies. With an estimated net worth of $3.2 billion last year, Larson is still a billionaire. According to Marzari on Wall Street, Perlins, Ripple's XRP ledger made a meager $583,000 in fees from handling network transactions. The resulting price-to-sales ratio for XRP would be 61,689. The video shows the market's giddy over stock with a valuation of almost $2 trillion, $61 billion in revenues, and a price-to-sales ratio of 37. One crypto zombie is Ripple Labs. Its XRP tokens are still selling like hotcakes, with a daily value of almost $2 billion. Besides the fact that Quick is still running strong, there are now better ways to make payments worldwide using blockchains. This is for real, though, not just speculation particularly secure digital currencies, such as the $100 billion tether that is linked to the US dollar. What a hilarious piece of writing. This is the subject I am referring about. Am I correct? So, if we take a close look at the current situation, we can see that there will be a lot of misleading headlines and news stories that contribute to the constant claim that Ripple is flooding the market with XRP. We'll get to my post about this on X in a moment, but they are flooding it, dudes. I feel compelled to address a few points since I find it absolutely insanity that these articles are still making the rounds and that Forbes is still being considered credible. I mean, look at all these reports from major media outlets, they all amount to the same thing. And the funny thing is, very bullish moves are usually the result of events like these. Along those lines, a person named Paolo Tasca, whom everyone should listen to, 
wrote an article claiming that such irrelevant pieces simply serve to highlight the continued importance of education in the field of deep tech. More than 300 financial institutions in 40 countries have joined the XRP Ledger Network, indicating that international money transfers are getting better. The value of cryptocurrencies is typically based on their potential for future speculation rather than their practical use at the moment. The promise of XRP to enable future efficient global transactions is a major factor in the cryptocurrency's value. This is more of a marathon than a race, crypto zombies. In blockchain technology, where projects frequently undergo evolution over time, Forbes Tech fails to take this into account. Take Ethereum as an example. After facing criticism for its high fees and low capacity, the cryptocurrency has made great achievements with improvements like Theory 2.0 to improve scalability and efficiency. It has also confronted regulatory difficulties and innovated. Crypto initiatives are not alone in being subject to regulatory scrutiny. This is a problem that affects the development, practicality, and eventual widespread acceptance of any innovative technology. The increasing number of use cases being investigated and executed across industries disproves the idea that blockchain initiatives have no practical application beyond speculation. In this case, why is this collapse so major? Just what is the big deal about this post? Let me tell you about Paolo Tasca. You may recognize this person if you're a fan of the videos on my channel or the channel of my media company, Web3 Alert. A major issue in the XRP community, and the main reason I ceased producing that stuff, is that IOV underscore OWL isn't involved. When you're an advisor to a ton of government, CDC, HEDRA, etc. initiatives, rather than an idiot, you receive thousands of likes. Prominent XRP resume advocates, with 40 likes go get some sleep. Another time, his post started to get a little out of hand. Whatever the case may be, we have the following on our resumes. Co-founder and chief strategist at Quant Network. Founder and chief wizard. You can see a few of his breakdowns here. We have a leading peer-to-peer -peer economist on staff who has extensive experience in areas such as digital currencies, blockchain technology, P2P finance, and the German Central Bank. But have a look at this over here. You wouldn't believe how full this list is, it's absurd. You just can't make this stuff up when you see someone like this. When you consider their history and connections, and I must say, King Solomon truly deserves a great deal more attention and followers, he even has more than I do. However, I repeat, you guys should go see them. X also uploads a ton of fantastic stuff to YouTube, so you should definitely check it out if you haven't already. As an additional source of information, he is the CEO of Gen Infinity IO, which is probably a media company. There are a lot of ties to the sector when you look at a resume like this, with all these important central bank CBDC engagements. Then there's this guy who talks about XRP in such a way that it undermines Forbes's case as a whole. Just reading that one post makes you question everything that's happening here, doesn't it? Because there is a great deal of foolishness going about in the XRP community, there are many things that, if I'm being totally forthright with you, are just stupid. The people behind these prominent media accounts and publications put a lot of stock in their credibility, but listen up, this is all misleading. Stupidity from the mainstream media trying to convince you that Ripple is dumping a bunch of XRP on the market and that it's all a hoax. Well, that concludes our video. Do me a favor and subscribe to my channel. Muchas gracias, depart.